I'm bringing in beautiful energy from deep within. It's time to unleash my power. It's time to become who I am called to be. It's time to put my best self out there. Don't go to somebody else to define to you, Ati, who do you think I should become? No, you have that power. You are sovereign. You are a sovereign being. Sovereign means that you stand on your own. You just need the, the, the voice of God. The Holy Spirit is what's going to guide you. The self. Listen to that. It will never lead you astray. It knows what's good for you. That gut feeling, that instinct that tells you, Apa vilona sio vizuri. Listen to it. Enye inakwambia, Apa hii lifestyle, aita tupeleka mbali. Change it. I love change. I love change so much. Because it always means things are expanding. You know, when things are changing, it means things are moving. And changing for good, not changing for, for the worst. Changing for good. Yeah. So, trust yourself that you got this. Trust yourself that I know what's good for me. And then chase that. You wake up every morning and you chase that. And that's why, like, sometimes I'm very, you know, I can talk to people and they're like, how, Lynette, how is it that you're so grounded on the things you believe in? Um, it's simple. The answers come from within. So my goal is strictly for me. When I do something, it's strictly for me. It's never about, I'm going to do this because I saw so-and-so did it. No, I don't operate in those energies. I know that I am enough. I am capable as I am. I'm beautifully and wonderfully created. I'm very gifted. I'm very talented. I know I'm intelligent, I'm eloquent, and I know that all these things are from God. I'm healthy. So the aspirations that I have in life will be strictly for Lynette. It's never going to be about somebody else. Nobody else can come out from there, from outside there in the world and tell me about me. You cannot tell me about me. I will tell you about me because I know me. I live with me. I experience me. You get so it needs a lot of confidence as well, which is something you need to pray to God to give you if you're not yet at that point. Build on your confidence, build on your faith, and build on your courage that everything works out for your good. Everything in this universe, everything that has happened in your life, everything that we go through, good, bad, neutral, it's all for your good. It's all for the bigger picture, the beautiful bigger picture of your life. So once I, I, I mastered that, then I'm never really shaken by things because even when something projects itself on me as a negative experience, I know that this negative experience is still going to turn around and be used by God as a blessing. Like God comes in and is going to fix it. He's going to flip it around. And suddenly that bad thing, that bad situation that was supposed to destroy me, or maybe that person was persecuting, you get what I mean? Or this unhealthy situations, they're not going to affect me because there's somebody who's, who, who's got my back. And for me, that person is my God. So I cannot decide that for you. You know who your sovereign power is in your life. Hold on to that. Um, be firm. Be courageous. Be brilliant. Don't let anybody put you in a box. Don't let anybody define you. Don't chase things that people do. Chase what makes your heart happy. That's it. Look at your heart and notice the things that make your heart happy. Genuinely happy. When there are no cameras in your face, when, when there is no Instagram, when there is no Snapchat, when there is no... When you wake up in your house by yourself, what is it that you do that makes you happy? Do more of that. What are these things maybe you went through in life in the past that have hurt you? Change those things to become blessings. If you've, if you've been encountering maybe stingy people, become generous with the ones in your life. Change. Say that I'm going to be a blessing to anybody who comes to me. If maybe you've been disappointed by a parent and there are some things they did wrong, look at those things. Don't look at your parent. Look at those things that they did wrong. And now promise yourself that I'm going to do it better. That's how you bless them. That's how you lift them up. And slowly by slowly, you just see your life restructuring and you'll see your life becoming better. But be ready because anything worth having in life is not easy. 
uh you'll have to face yourself you'll have to battle with yourself i still have moments when i battle with myself when i battle with people outside of my life who are not okay with the new me so it's all part and parcel of the journey right yeah so i feel like i've shared enough um or what i know in terms of that question of who are you and how to how to turn around um how to turn your life around how to turn yourself around so you have to stop doubting have faith in yourself a peaceful mind generates power these days whenever i get conflicting thoughts or something is have affecting me negatively affecting my peace my energy i have to bring myself to the present and i'm like let it go whatever issue that is are you the one on the wrong if i'm the one on the wrong then i have to call myself out acknowledge i've wronged and apologize or fix the situation but if it's somebody who is now coming for me or a situation that's affecting me negatively i breathe in breathe out and i let it go it's not for me i'm not gonna carry it if it needs me to have my phone on airplane mode the whole day i will i will not carry someone's baggage do not carry people's baggage do not take people's word about who you are and allow it to stick on your forehead. No. You show them who you are. You define to the world who you are. And it's not the other way around. Life is made to seem like you're supposed to be told by other people whether you're good or bad, whether you're talented or not, whether this is nice or not. You are your own person. Start celebrating that. Start loving that. Start doing things that make you happy with your chest. Let whoever think whatever because they are not in your life. They are not in your shoes. They are not the ones carrying your soul. They don't know what it means to be you. So, of course, they will look at the things you do from their own life, from their own experience, from their own, you know, bias. That's why it's very important, like, when you're changing your life. You set the stage. You set the stage of, of your show, of your life, of your movie. You are the star. So if today you decide that the movie is no longer an action movie, it's now going to become a romantic comedy, you're allowed. Flip the script. If tomorrow it's going to become an adventure movie, let it become an adventure movie, you know? Whoever is interested or supposed to be in it will be in it. Whoever feels like... Mm, I only liked you when you are a sad movie, you know, a movie that would cry all the time. Suddenly, you are a comedic movie. I don't think I want to subscribe. Nisawa, you let them go. Because now that will show you that this person was only subscribing to your life when you were hurting, when you were down, when you were broken. They only enjoyed the movie because it had a lot of parts where you were crying and you were broken down. And for them, they would use that now to make themselves feel better. So when you change the tempo and suddenly you're happier, you're doing better in life, you're adventurous, you're going back to your passions and your talents, you're discovering new things about yourself, people who benefited from your sadness, of course, they're going to attack or challenge your happiness. So I want you to know that always so that you can learn how to block it out and not carry it. Do not carry anything that doesn't serve you into your new you, into your new life, into your new self. Yeah? Let go of all the pain and all the hurt from your past. You know? You have a divine purpose. Everybody has a divine purpose. Bring it out. Let's all work on bring it out, bringing out our different purposes our different blessings what where are you supposed to go in life who are you supposed to touch in life which thing are you supposed to discover which thing are you supposed to to spearhead you know it's exciting be excited about your life be excited about meeting a better version of yourself and seeing what that person is capable of doing so in all humility i'll share that that's how i've been doing it that's how i started and every day is a different experience but i'm open to it i'm accepting the good the bad the in between i don't let it stick to me because i have a clear vision of who i am so when i get to a bump i'll cross over when i get to a bridge i'll cross over when you get where the the tarmac is finished there's a maram road 
switch your gear to 4 by 4 and you go through as long as you, when you look at your compass this is how this is where we're supposed to go 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 endo kipasua endo kipasua endo kipasua and i promise you i promise you you're going to experience a much more fulfilling life brighter you'll be more enthusiastic about yourself you glow you look even more prettier you look even younger you know because you're thriving you're thriving in who you're supposed to be so yeah i hope this video blesses you i hope i've, I've shared with you some tips and advice advices that can help you yeah and um i trust that we are all we are all in this journey though differently but the challenges are the same so if i can do it the little that i've done with myself um, in terms of changing who I thought I was and now morphing into who I am and I'm continuing to build who I am because I have that vision in my head of who I want Lynette to become. You can do it too. You can do it too. You can do it too. So we're going to be accountability partners through all of this. All right? Okay? Deal? thank you so let me know what you feel let me know if you've been through some of these situations if you understand what i'm saying let me know in the comment section if um you know if you get me how are you feeling are you going through some changes are you going through some challenges how are you taking it let me know in the comment section beauties um but as always it's a pleasure hanging out with you my loves beautiful people beautiful energy beautiful space thank you so much my beauties and until the next video May God be with you, protect you, and take care of yourself. Bye. Mwah.